This is uh, the, the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc on the latest Android platform on Gingerbread. A very cool design. You can see how it thins out in the middle there and bows out towards the end. So it's very cool to hold when you're holding it in landscape form or in portrait, but also just visually very cool. Around the hardware, you got the 3.5 audio connector on the side, then the power button, of course, HDMI connector, and then you have the USB connector over there. The buttons are a little switched around from previous models that we have with it from the X10. The back key was over here, now this is switched around, and you have your options okay. key here too. And you have five panes from which you can put all your shortcuts and widgets on. You look in the media pane, this is something by default that's in there, and you have your music here, and you can start playing music, and then you can scroll through photos that you want to see. And watch that render up into the full resolution. And of course, you can pinch and zoom. When we look at a video, The screen is the Sony Mobile Bravia engine. It's powered by the Sony Mobile Bravia engine. The same technology you have in the Sony Bravia TVs, the same image, image engine. It gives you uh, great color management, noise reduction, and sharpness. You can see how brilliant that is. Plus you have what's called the no air gap display. Uh, it's got a seal that keeps any uh, light from causing a reflection on the display. So mm -hmm. it's brilliant indoors and brilliant outside as well. And also it features the special sensor for Yes, the, the Exmor R sensor. You, you have a, of course you have an HD camera, 720p, and 8.1 megapixel for still photos. Mm -hmm. The other great asset we get from Sony as far as the tech technology is concerned is the Exmor R sensor for the camera. And what that gives you is uh, twice the sensitivity of conventional CMOS camera sensors. So, so it uh, gives you twice the sensitivity for low light conditions, giving you more brilliant, brilliant images for the video and the photo, but without the accompanying digital noise that you would expect under low light conditions. And it's running the latest Android 2.3. It sure is, and it, and it runs very fast. I really, I really like Gingerbread a lot. It's, it's a lot easier to use and quite fast. But we have also are a couple of enhancements that we've done on top of Gingerbread. For example, if I want to, I can uh, create folders on the desktop by dragging some multiple items over. So let's say. Uh, if I want to put my calendar on the top, for example, I can drag it and find a pane where it'll fit and put that over there. Whoops, I actually put it down on the bottom. So you drag it over here. Now, if I wanted to, I can combine them. So if I have a couple of shortcuts, let me go and do it. I'm sorry, this is messing up on me. If I want to, I can go and drag and put one folder on top of the other. And what that's going to do is let me create a folder. So then I can select one of these default folders, like if I want to do, uh, well, let's just choose, choose one arbitrarily, news. And that's like done, now I've got a folder called news. And if I wanted to, I could drag down an icon, as you saw that I was doing unintentionally, I can drag down more icons here into my main application tray on the home screen if I want to. When can we expect to see it on the market? Uh, end of Q1, uh, start, start seeing in other markets, uh, end of Q1 into Q2. It's a great device. Thank you. Thank you.